I don't know when you'll read this. Maybe when you're a teenager. No, probably later when you're on the verge of parenthood and it occurs to you for the first time that someone has been loving you for that long. Maybe, let's hope not, you'll read it because something's happened to one of us. My cancer came back. Or dad was reading a text going across the Bay Bridge and cars collided. And you want to piece together what it was like before. No matter when and why this comes to your hands, I want to put down on paper how things started with us. So I remember my, mom, my mother-in-law saying so vividly when, when she was visiting once with the, when the girls were little, oh, I wish I could remember this time in my kid's life. All I have in my mind is Christmas and their birthdays, and we went skiing once, and we took them to a theme park, and that's what I've got. After 18 years of living in the same house with these kids, I've got 10 things I can really remember, I can really like hear and smell and see again in my mind. And I have always been a journaler. I mean, it's like I've been a writer since I was 10. I have, have crate, milk crates full of old journals. And so it is my nature to try to capture it and put it down so that it doesn't get completely lost. Um, but then I became a photographer, which is the, such an easier way to capture detail. And I think that that's what my mother-in-law was imploring me to do, was find a way, whatever way you can come up with, whether you're writing it or capturing it on film, to lock down some of these details because you will not believe how it just blows away in your mind. And there's no way to get it back once it goes, it's gone. So now, now I'm probably accumulating 2,000 photographs in a year, but they're on my computer. And I don't think that they become magic until they move to the page. And every year I force myself to make at least one book that captures sort of the highlights from the year. Because for sure, over the next five years, I'm going to trade that computer in. And I know everybody says everything transfers, but maybe it doesn't. And maybe when you're 85, you don't want to pull out your Macintosh from 2011. And so I have my little growing stack of all of my books from vacations and from my sort of annual highlights book. And at, at a minimum, that's what I've got. But if I just look at it for a second, it'll all, you know, roll again for me like a movie in my mind.